Hi, boys and girls. Good to see you again. Thank you for joining us for our art lesson today. Last art lesson, we created a beautiful fall tree, kind of like the ones that are behind me right here, with intersecting lines. So we learned about the element of art beginning with line and color, and we learned how intersecting lines uh, cross each other, and then we alternated colors back and forth uh, to make beautiful fall leaves on a fall tree. So we are going to continue today using the element of line in art um, to create another beautiful fall project. Um, so I just want to take you first through the elements of art. If you have not done the previous project, uh, you would have less of an idea of what's going on. So if you have not done the project called beautiful, or I think it's called fall trees and beautiful leaves, you should go back and do that project first before you do this project. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to review what the elements of art are, and you'll see them right on your screen. So the elements of art are the things that make up all kinds of art. So every kind of art that you see has these elements within them. So we use these things to create art. That's why we need to know what they are. So the elements of art are line, shape, color, value, form, space, and texture. So today we are going to focus on using the elements of art of line and, well, we could, we could do shape as well, and color. But mostly we're going to be focusing on line, and then the color is going to be your choice today. So let's look at different types of lines and how we're going to use them to create artwork. So uh, here on this on this screen, you can see different types of line. There are many different types of lines. We have vertical lines that go up and down. We have zigzag lines, wavy lines, curly lines, dashed lines, horizontal lines left to right, dotted, parallel, curved, diagonal, spiral. Lines can be both thick or thin, and lines can be used to create outlines, patterns, and space. Patterns like this, outlines like uh, a city skyline, and to give the illusion or the feel of space. Okay, and we don't mean outer space. We mean like uh, things that are closer to you and things that are further away. You can create that right on your paper with the use of line. Okay, so different kinds of lines. So for our project today, if you need to come back to this part of the video, that's fine. Uh, to come back to this part of the video to see all of the different types of lines that we can use to create uh, some beautiful artwork with fall leaves today. I just think it's great to be inspired by nature and everything that surrounds us because it is so beautiful, especially at this time of the year. Okay, so we're going to use the element of line. All right, so I am going to bring up my image mate so you can see what we are doing and how to create our artwork today. So when you create your artwork today, you can use your paper this way or you can use your paper this way. Either way doesn't matter. I'm going to leave that up to you. OK, so you can decide which way you want to uh, you want to leave your paper. All right. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this project today. One way that we can do this project is you can go outside and you can get some fall leaves that you find uh, in your yard or in the park, and you can actually trace them onto your paper. Another way that we can do this project today is you can, um, you can draw with me. Another way is you could look online, like um, search images like Google images or Yahoo images or pictures to find pictures of fall leaves as well. But I'm just gonna sketch some here with you um, of course, what I do is just an example. I don't want you to copy me. I'm just trying to show you the example of how to do the project. 
and then I want you to use your own imagination to come up with your own. So please don't copy mine. I just do mine to show you how to do it, okay? So in order to get started, what I'm going to do is I am just going to sketch on here. Yes, I think you can see that. Let me see. Maybe I'll make that just a little bit. Let's see if we can make it a little bit. If brighter helps or if darker helps. Okay. I'll draw a little bit darker, I think, so you can see. But remember that when you sketch, you should draw lightly at first in case you need to erase, and then it will be a lot easier. Okay. So I'm just going to draw. Um, the middle of leaves have kind of like what we call a spine, or we call these things veins. They carry the water and the nutrients to the different part of the leaves. So there's different kinds of leaves that we can draw. So I'm going to draw the veins or the inside of the leaves first, and I will probably include a few slides as well to show you um, leaves and the shapes um, of the insides of the leaves. Okay, so then I am just going to draw the outside of the leaf. I will. I will include some. I will include some pictures of leaves in these slides as well for you to see. Because I've drawn a lot of leaves and I really, really like to draw leaves, so it's a bit easier for me. So I'm going to draw a leaf, and uh, when you draw, uh, just a little bit of advice: if you draw bigger it is a lot easier to accomplish and to complete this project, okay? So don't be afraid to make your leaves nice and big. Now, I'm not just going to make one because I want to fill my entire paper, okay? And sort of like the intersecting lines, we are going to overlap our leaves, okay? We're going to overlap our leaves, which just means one on top of another, or we could say that we are going to layer the leaves. Okay, so we're going to overlap one on top of another, or we're going to layer them. All right, so let's go back to our leaf here. So if I want one on top of another, if I'm going to draw another leaf under here, it's going to be like part of him is underneath this first leaf here. And then once we get all of our leaves drawn, we're going to do something kind of cool with them with line. Okay, so I'm going to put another one. But he is overlapping or he is layered with another leaf okay so one on top of another or layered all right now that i have this one here i think i'm going to put another one here so again layered so this one on top of this one i'm going to pretend that this one goes underneath this one so they are layered so one is on top of the other I'm going to draw this guy pretty big. Okay. And I will include those pictures of leaves so that you can see a little bit more about what they look like. Of course, probably the best thing to do would just be to go out into nature, go out into a park, go out into your backyard and find some of these beautiful leaves all by yourself. Or you can do it with a friend or family member or something. But it would be best to look at these shapes in nature. But if you can't, I'll provide the pictures as well. Okay, so again, we're overlapping. So I'm gonna make another one like this one, but I'm gonna make him here. 
and I'm just kind of giving a basic outline of the leaf. I haven't colored them in yet because there's going to be something else that we're going to do with them, which is pretty cool. And your leaves can be the same size, they can be different, but again, if you, if you make them bigger, um, the cool thing is, is that it's a lot easier to do. All right, so what you would continue to do, boys and girls, is you would fill up your entire paper, okay? I don't want to leave any white spots. I want to encourage you to fill up the whole paper and draw big and use a lot of the space, okay? So you're going to fill up your whole paper, again, with these overlapping or layered leaves, one on top of another, overlap or layer. Now next, what we want to do with our leaves, remember you're going to fill your whole paper. This is just an example, all right? Next, what you're going to do is you're going to, let me bring up our examples of lines again. So we are going to use our lines, different types of lines, to fill in our leaves. So we remember all the different types of lines that we have. Vertical, zigzag, wavy, curly, all the different types of lines that you see on your screen. And I will also include another picture of this in the slides as well if you need to reference it. But we're going to be using all these different types of lines in our artwork today. So let's go back to our images here. And what we're going to do is on the inside of every leaf, what we're going to do is we are going to use any of the lines that we saw on our line chart to fill in the insides of the leaves. That is the first part, okay? So for example, I think here in this part of my leaf, I wanna use a wavy line to fill in this part. Let me zoom in a little bit closer there so you can see better. And I really like how that looks, so I'm going to use a wavy line. You're going to draw right over everything you already did. You use a wavy line to fill in that part. And I really like the look on this leaf of these wavy lines, so I am going to fill in all these parts with wavy lines. And you know what? This is your world. Use your imagination. See what you like the best and what looks good to you and what you really, really like. So I'm going to fill in all of this with wavy lines. And you know, I even like the look of, I think, a double wavy line. Could be a spaghetti noodle. It could be a road, like a long, twisting, winding road. I just really like the look of these wavy lines. Now again, I don't want you to just copy me. All I'm doing is showing you the example. So what we're doing is we're filling in the inside of our leaves with the different types of lines, okay? Now I'm gonna go to this leaf here and I think that I think that dotted lines might look pretty cool on this one. So actually on this one, what I'm gonna do, I am gonna change all of my veins and spines in this leaf to dotted lines. And I'm simply gonna do that by erasing in between the lines that I already have there. So I'm just erasing little parts of the lines. I just think dotted lines look cool. So I'm gonna do dotted lines all over this leaf. Okay, so I'm just gonna make all of these dotted lines. All right, so dotted lines on that one. And when I use, use my imagination and I kind of look at this, I kind of think, uh, I look at each leaf and I just try to imagine, um, I try to imagine, am I back? I think I'm back. I want you to be able to see my face too while we're uh, working on this artwork together. So 
dotted lines here, but I really like the look of this, so I think I'm going to do more. I really like this look, these dotted lines. And you can do whatever you like. Mine's just an example. But what I'm doing is I'm looking at my line chart and I am using all of the different kinds of lines or any of the different kinds of lines that are on my line chart. Okay, so that one. Uh, I'm using dotted lines. I really like it. Now I'm going to go to this leaf here. This leaf here, I'm thinking I might use some zigzag lines as well as some thick and thin lines. So I think I'm going to put zigzags in this part of my leaf. And again, you can do this any way that you like. Mine is just an example. Each leaf does not have to have just one kind of line. You could have three different kinds of lines in the same leaf. You could have six different kinds of lines in the same leaf. Or you could have just one kind of line in the leaf. That is up to you. So this one, I think I said I was going to do zigzag and I was going to do thick and thin. So I'm going to do zigzag here and then some thick and thin lines. I think I'm going to make some of my lines and just to make it easier for you to see, I'm going to use my black marker. You could use your black marker too, but I wouldn't use black marker until uh, you know exactly what you want to do because you can't erase it. So some of my lines I want to make thicker. So I think I'm going to make my spines or my veins of my lines, I'm going to make them thicker. Let me get a thicker marker here. Okay. So, uh oh, <laughs> see, I can't erase that now, can I? I've got to be careful. I'm going to make these lines thicker. And you just use your imagination. So I like the look of these lines being thicker. And it can be some lines. It could be all of the lines. It's up to you. Use your imagination. Oh, this guy too. Okay, so use your imagination. Your world, not mine. And let's see. Uh, and then I would go on to my last leaf and I would do the same thing. So your goal is that you want to fill up as much of the paper as you can. Okay. So, you know, there's my, that is fire alarm. I will be right back. All right, boys and girls, I'm back. We had a fire drill. So <laughs> thanks for bearing with me here. We are back. So. I was doing thick lines and I said I wanted to do thin lines too. And I'm going to do them. I think I'm going to do, it might even look cool to do some thin lines right next to my thick lines. Again, I wouldn't advise using any black marker or anything until you've really figured out what you want to do. But, so I'm using thick lines and thin lines and zigzag all in the same one. And then I would continue with my other leaves overlapping or layering one on top of another until I have my paper filled up. Try to fill up as much of the space as you can. Draw big. All right, so once I have my designs down on the paper, then I'm going to get my crayons. Or you could use paint if you wanted to, or you could use marker as well. But now I'm just going to color this any way that I like. It doesn't have to be fall colors. It can be. Um, I like fall colors. But you can use whatever colors you like. So when you color, if you keep all of your lines going in the same direction, back and forth and back 
and forth, you will get a nice smooth color uh, to your lines. Okay, so you're going to work on coloring this in or painting or marker. If you decide to paint, you should probably use a heavier paper or you should probably use two papers, one underneath another. Uh, you can even layer papers just because without a heavy paper, the paint will make the paper uh, warp and wrinkle. Okay, so you can decide which colors to use. Every leaf doesn't have to be the same color. Um, there could be many colors on the same leaf. They could be fall colors. They could be not fall colors. They could all be uh, maybe just blues and greens or maybe just reds and oranges. That's going to be all up to you. But we're kind of just using the leaves as a design to help us practice different kinds of lines. So I'm just showing you an example here. You can do whatever you like, be creative, use your imagination. Fall leaves, they could be red and orange and yellow, or you could use your imagination. They could be crazy colors. They could be, uh, they could be like um, all different kinds of colors. They could be pink. They could be, um, they could be neon green. You could use whatever colors that you like to color your artwork. Okay. So again, I'm just kind of doing this quickly to kind of show you different things that you could do just as an example. But when I'm coloring, I'm trying to keep all my lines go the same direction, get a nice smooth color, trying to stay inside the lines. Okay. And let's see, maybe I will put, I think I'm going to put kind of like a green color in here. I think that looks cool. Just to kind of give you an idea. Okay. So that's a little bit of an idea on that leaf. What about... We have an idea on this leaf over here. What about this zigzaggy leaf and the thick and thin lines? Uh, let's see. I think here's a really cool orange color I could use. And here is a very cool green color that I could use. So I think it would look cool if I just went right over my thick and thin lines and put some it's a really cool orange. It's almost like a red orange. I'm going to alternate. Again, you can do whatever you like. Just trying to show you a few examples here of what you could do. But I want you to decide in each leaf what kind of lines. You could use many or just one that you can use to design the inside of your leaves and then when you're all done it'll look really cool okay i like this green so again boys and girls i'd like you to take a little bit more time than what i'm doing because i'm just kind of doing this quickly to show you an example it's always better to do a great job and create beautiful artwork rather than to just try to be the first person done Okay. And we had a fire gel during the middle of this recording. <laughs> so, all right. These are just a few examples. Now I'm thinking over on the other side, I might even want to do, I might even want to do blue and yellow. That color combination is coming to mind. Here's my yellow. So I'm thinking that over here, I might want to do kind of a blue and yellow thing. That might be interesting. But you'll have to experiment and see what kind of colors look 
best to you. But you're going to fill up as much of your paper as you can. Fill the whole paper. Draw big. Draw lightly at first. So you can erase if you need to. But I think you're going to come out with some really, really great artwork. And we're going to learn about the different types of lines while we do it. OK, so you can decide, boys and girls. All right. But once you finish, you're going to have a lot or if not all of your paper covered with these overlapping leaves, one on top of another or layer them. And then you're going to use your different kinds of lines to draw shapes and designs on the inside of the leaves. And you can use one type of line or many types of lines. And then after you do that, you're going to add color. And you can come out with something really, really great. OK, so I think that is the end of our video today. I hope you find this is going to be really fun and really interesting for you to do. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you create. Make sure that you take a picture of it, upload it to Class Dojo. When you take a picture of this, have someone who is helping you. Have them lay the picture on a flat surface with good lighting. Um, when you send me your pictures that are too dark or they're kind of held up to the camera like kind of like this and I can't really see the whole thing, it's hard for me to see what you did for your artwork. So please make sure that it's on a flat surface. Please make sure there is good lighting, okay? And then upload it to Dojo Portfolio. Make sure you do the checklist because the checklist is how I check to see that you get Dojo points. Sometimes if you just put it in Dojo, and I don't get a chance to check it right away, I might miss your dojo points. So please make sure you do the checklist after you put it in dojo portfolio. All right, I'm really looking forward to your artwork. You're going to complete this on your own at home. Fill up as much as the space as you can. Use all different types of lines, and then you're going to add the color. This is going to be great. I'm excited to see what you have um, to show me for your beautiful artwork today. All right. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.